what has been your most valuable lesson you've learned throughout your life in research? It's not a lesson, it's a joy. It's a privilege. Um, the idea that, that, that there is this entity begging you, begging you to think creatively, to develop things out of thin air, stimulated by your patient care. So the clinical realm stimulates the research, the research bounces back to the clinical realm. And that's just an amazing privilege. Lesson, I don't know if there's a particular lesson other than understanding that there are no negative results. Um, everything that you learn is new knowledge. And everything you learn, even the negative results, can be put to positive good. So, you get excited about everything. And you just don't care whether your hypothesis proves to be true or false. I mean, that's that's the most dangerous thing in the lab, is falling in love with a hypothesis. You never want to do that. Um, you want to have the hypothesis tested, and you need to be agnostic as to whether it proves true or false. You don't build your reputation on how many of your, your hypotheses are correct. You build your reputation on how much of your research eventually proves to be beneficial. That's where you're going. So, again, that gets back to the humility. You know, somebody said, you were wrong. You're, yeah, I was wrong. Good. You know, this is the Edison concept. Mr. Edison, you know, you tried hundreds of times to make a light bulb and you failed. You're not that good a scientist. And Edison went, yeah, you're right. But I know several hundred ways how not to make a life. That's valuable knowledge.